At the site of the World Trade Center in New York City, families and friends gathered Saturday for the ceremony marking the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks that toppled the Twin Towers, killing their loved ones and 2,600 other people. Daniel Lopez lost his father, who had worked on the 92nd floor. His father left a phone message, but his body was never recovered. Daniel said he was finally ready to read his dad's name at the memorial ceremony. <laughs> I ran away from this for 20 years, but I'm here to read his, his, his name today. Melissa Tara Serwich lost her father, Alan, who was a firefighter. And they did find my father and two other um, firefighters with him and a couple civilians, so it was nice to know that they were doing their job and until the end and that's all you can ask for is that they did bring him home. I was blessed like that. A lot of families unfortunately weren't. Mary Lou Buss was one of them. Her sister's body was never recovered. She and her daughter Jenny Metzler traveled from Lincoln, Nebraska to honor Julie. Being here you feel very sad and and you look but it's there's something else that we're here with so many other people that experience the same thing so it's kind of a, a good sense we, we miss her we will always miss her um, we loved her very much she loved us so yeah. we're missing that um, yeah. you just keep going we come here to remember her and 